Hello and welcome to Nortricity 2.0. I was about to say welcome back to Nortricity. But I messed up the last world. It ended up lagging and then it crashed and then I ended up trying to fix it and I ended up erasing it. So I started this new one, took out some mods, added some mods, and spawned in way over there, got attacked by spiders, and it was in the snow biome. So I came over a little ways over this way and uh, built this little goofy house and dug down here and found a ravine, which I've already mined everything I found on the like surface area, kind of. I haven't really explored it that much. I was just like, ooh, ravine, and then that was pretty much all. But I did get enough iron to go ahead and get iron chest plate and iron leggings and iron sword and iron pickaxe, which I need to make another iron sword. Now, some things I'm just going to kind of ramble as I go through the motion. Wait, no, it doesn't need two, it needs one. Uh,. What was I about to say? <laughs> there. Some of the mods uh, are the same. Some of the mods are different. Which, if we look in here, oops, look in here. Uh, advanced genetics is new, uh, so it's not really all magic-based mod pack anymore. It's got some other things in it. Advanced genetics is in here. Uh, I took out morph. I took out. Um, what's the name of that? Battle Towers. I uh, took out mold creatures. Added in a tomb because it was another dimension. It just kind of seemed like it'd be cool and I'm uh, going to try it out and see if I like it. Put Botania back in here, Blood Magic back in here because I still didn't really explore the stuff last time as much as I could have. So I'm going to see how I end up liking it as far as, you know, just trying it out. Equipment exchange, put that in here because I thought that would be really cool. Uh, my own factory reloaded. I put this in here and it wasn't really what I thought it was. Uh, I put it in here at the request of somebody else. He's like, oh, try this. You'll love it. And it's, I've never used it. So <laughs> I was like, oh, so it's got like, you know, guns and um, laser drills and yeah, I was like, okay, this is going to take a little bit of uh, checking out and getting used to. And then Twilight Forest is back in here. Uh, Pet Bat is in here now. Project Red's back in here because I just love that stuff. And Vanilla Plus is in here, which Vanilla Plus ends up adding in, like, you know, rubies and sapphires. And don't know what a hellstone is, but it adds it in. Ender gym, ender boots, ender helmet, ender crystal, slime sandwich, slime jelly, ink sword. Really? Oh, well, interesting. Uh, so, I think what I'm gonna do. My plan is. There's a spider. Oh, he's over there. So my plan is uh, the last step. You know, the last series, I ended up making one, the first house for the, was like on the waterfront. The second house was on like inside of a mountain. This time, I think I want to do it in the plains. And just like have a house and then build everything underneath it. So it'd be like a nine by nine house. And then like it'd have like a wall surrounding it to like, you know, put a couple of farm animals and stuff like that in there. And then everything else will be underneath it. And that will allow me to kind of, you know, if I decide to add in any more mods, which at the moment I'm not thinking about adding anything else, unless something just really catches my eye. But if I add anything else in, then I can explore further out and I don't have to go as far to go ahead and find new you know uh, world gen stuff 
so that's the idea at least. And the, anybody who's watched my series knows that my ideas change quite often. <laughs> so that's the original starter plan. How about that? I like that. So I really haven't done anything else this sort of for just log in and didn't like the snow biome I was in. So I came over here and built this little hut. This little rinky dink hut. I think it's what, a five by five? So, that is the plan, the starter plans, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I need to get this. Oops, stop that. Stop that. Okay, so I put this right here. And then I put... And this is for... Ars Magica. Yeah, look at that. Now... Nortricity 2.0 is also on a server because that looks so cool. Um, well, before, oh, there it is. I was like, where did my book go? Give it to me. Give it to me. There you go. Um, before, oops, my, uh, yeah, my computer just can't handle too much of this stuff. It was getting lagged down. I could play like five minutes and it would just lag out completely. Um, playing on the server, it ends up being a lot better and I can get a little bit further and I can play continuously. Now, the only thing about server, because I've run any other server for the server play with my friends, is that the bad news is whenever I try to change a something in the config it doesn't always stick or it causes an error so that being said whenever I find any of the taint from Thumbcraft if it ends up getting too bad to where it's almost destroying the world because I can't get rid of it then I'll probably take out Thumbcraft which there was a cool I can't remember the name of it there was a cool uh I remember it right after I stopped recording. There was a cool, how many times am I gonna say cool? Anyways, there was a mod that crossed over uh, Thumbcraft and Blood Magic. So you could make like a Blood Wand. And I thought that was really awesome, but I could not get it to work. It conflicted with so many of the other things that I had. But hey never can tell it might get added in later on so here's the plans while I kind of mess around with all the stuff in here I found some copper this is from the forestry mod now the only thing is I don't know if the copper from the forestry mod might have overwrote the copper from Tinker's Construct I'm gonna have to end up seeing about that either it gave me uh, I guess I could just do it like this Tinker uh Nope, there it is. At least the gravel's there. Nope, oh, copper's there. So I'm going to have two different types of copper. Interesting. Hmm, okay. That should be rather... Yeah, I'm going to have a humongous amount of ores. So here's the plan so far. I'm still working uh, my new job. I've been there for about a month. The hours are... They take a lot of getting used to. Uh, that being said, my original recording was like Sunday and Saturday sometimes, and maybe Fridays. Um, but I need to cook this. Since I'm working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, my new main recording day is like Monday. <laughs> so Monday I'm going to have like, expect like about a 45 minute episode maybe of Nortricity 2.0 just to, until I get all the, you know, started and everything. I also found this ravine. Kind of got all the ores that were on top and just left it. Might not record too much mining, because sometimes mining can be boring for most. I mean, until you meet like a bunch of creepers and you die. So, the other idea is we're still going to do the 
Ooh. We're still going to do the server play. And I'm still going to end up doing some of the other uh, I thought I heard something. Um, some of the other ideas still going to do the podcast with uh, one of my friends about Dark Age. And I'm actually talking to my brother about doing whoa, uh, Minecraft 1.8 gameplay and it's just going to be straight vanilla. If we do that, Nortristi is going to end up being the main focus and it's still going to end up coming out uh, probably like three to four times a week once I start getting back on a routine and recording and Monday being the longer episode and then the server play will probably it will have shorter episodes and it'll probably come out maybe once or twice a week and then if we actually go through with the uh, 1.8 then that would end up coming out on or the vanilla play because if we end up getting another update then we'll just would go ahead and update it but that would only come out once a week and then Dark Age, of course, would be quite often, and then all the other uh, projects would end up kind of getting fit in. But I wanted to go ahead and say, oh, well, I'm back. I'm welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. No, I'm back, and this is relaxing. It relaxes me to go ahead and record and ramble on, and some people get a laugh at it, and some people don't. And Hey, it works for me. Maybe it works for somebody else when I'm rambling on talking about, oh, look at you. Look at you. He didn't want to see me. Oh, that was another thing. Not that creeper. He didn't remind me of that. But <laughs> I put a zombie awareness mod in here. Because I was really curious to see the difference in the, how the zombies act. And when I was playing earlier, I noticed that they would come from way over there. Yeah, like, see? But he's not coming over here. Before they came, I could see him from like way over there. They would just come on over and like surround the house. He's kind of like hugging a tree. See him up there? Right there. Yeah, see, he's not doing anything. It's supposed to be like sound. Whoa, hey! Oh, and that creeper really doesn't explode and hurt us. Is from Ars Magica and it goes ahead and drains your mana, which I have just got the book and have not really done anything with it. I'm not going to end up probably um, going into like, okay, this today we're going to talk you through making a water wand. I'm not planning on doing anything like that. It's more like I'm going to just be doing it and like, you know. Moving on as far as that goes. This has a lot unlocked. I wonder if it's picking up info from my other one. Yeah, because this has got like the water elemental, the darkling. I haven't met a darkling yet. But the config files are, I mean, I replaced those. Oh, we fought him in the server. That was so cool. Uh, the first time I fought him, I... Uh, I was trying to help my brother, and oh, I went in so unprepared. He kicked my butt like crazy. That was too funny. So I guess it ends up picking up my other stuff. That's cool. I, that, I ain't got no problem with that. All right. Batania. I'm going to definitely get started on Batania pretty soon. I know there's a few flowers out here, but I really haven't seen that much. I think what I, originally I was going to go ahead and find a plane area and build a, like a 9x9 nine nine house. I think I'm just going to end up being here. I'm going to end up expanding this house out and this is going to be my starter area. And I'll do my plan here. I think that's what I'll do. That sounds like an idea. So anyways. Um, Sorry. <laughs> Simple things amuse me. <laughs> um, so Nortricity is back. 
and hopefully here to stay. And hopefully I'll get everything done that I want to before I have to start a electricity 3.0. <laughs> so um, like, comment, subscribe if you want to, if you want to join in the shenanigans. And until next time, I shall catch you later.